Welcome to the Microfocus AWS Mainframe CI/CD session hosted by me, Peter Woods from Microfocus. The real value comes with utilizing AWS and Microfocus Enterprise technology to expand capacity and development and testing throughput and not just run the same at a lower cost. As you see from these eye-watering real-life Australian customer benefits, with process automation, on-demand capacity, on tap through AWS, shift left testing increases quality and reduces or eliminates downtime, which was previously just considered an acceptable consequence of mainframe-based development and tooling. I never tire of presenting these numbers you see before you. With a combination of Microfocus Enterprise Suite underpinned by AWS DevOps tooling and workload management, We've, we've customers in Australia that have realized savings, efficiencies, and throughput in a number of different ways. Firstly, uh, this is typically not the driver for change, but if we simply look at like-for-like -like test capacity versus the mainframe, a cloud-based solution is 90% lower cost to run. We have another customer that saw a nine-fold increase in test capacity versus their previous test environment on the mainframe at a 60th, 1 60th of the cost, if of course they'd ever looked at doing the same on the mainframe, which they never did. Uh, this same customer has reduced manual processes by 80% with our AWS-based DevOps solution. Another customer reported that in the cloud, a reduction from six weeks, at six weeks to create a single test environment manually to less than 30 minutes to provision 35 test environments refreshed several times per week. And finally, as a testament to the significant increase in testing and the quality of the changes implemented, one customer reported that they reduced their annual unplanned outages from 40 to zero for the last four years since implementation. This slide represents the world in which the agile or digital and developer has lived in, well, forever. Uh, but now is the time for mainframe application developers to share in these levels of productivity with a common lean process and non-demand test capacity. The world should be free of extraneous, laborious, repetitive, error-prone manual processes and, and focus solely on their individual productivity in the creation and the development and the maintenance of those critical core systems. So let me quickly walk you through the process defined in our prototype SDLC. Firstly, the requirements are formalized and available for allocation to the development team. Our developer takes one and can use her personal AWS Microfocus Enterprise Test Server Kix region to familiarize herself with the application and understand the requirement. She uses analysis tooling, Enterprise Analyzer, to determine the changes required and focused areas to test. She codes the changes. She compiles them and steps through the code in her Kix region until she's satisfied all is well. She can then create a unit test, if applicable, and once tested, promote both the changes and the unit test to the source control system in preparation for smoke testing. Now I'm going to pass control to Banu now to take you through a demonstration of this process up to the point in which our developer promotes her changes. Thanks, Peter. Continuing with the story, let us look into a simple banking application put together using typical mainframe application building blocks such as COBOL, Copyworks, BMS, JCL, and VZAP. Consider that as a part of digitization process, the business created a work request to reduce the account description field from existing 15 characters to eight characters to accommodate into smaller screen real estate of mobiles or tablets. To start with, a work request is created as a product backlog. Post prioritization, Alice, our mainframe developer, picks up the request for the spend. Empowered with Microfocus Enterprise Analyzer and Enterprise Developer, she creates and executes her analysis query to narrow down her points of interest in the application. She then applies breakpoints and debugs the code set to identify the potential changes. And the best part is 
she does this all in her local environment without the fear of stepping on other developers shoes while debugging she has all the modern ide capabilities such as breakpoints program breakpoints watch points break upon change of variable value inspect the value of a variable or even an expression after the changes are identified and completed the application is built in a matter of seconds and is ready for developer testing in our prototype sdlc our developer now promotes the changes into the source control system metaphorically kind of taking her hands off the keyboard to allow the devops process to trigger the creation of a test container to thoroughly test the changes in our prototype uh, here uh, there are two types of testing available first an on demand smoke test to ensure nothing critical is broken in executing key core application functions the smoke test environment is built a fresh tests executed test report generated and the environment is then destroyed so this early warning or smoke test will give her the confidence that nothing critical has been broken and she can promote her changes to the team level for regression testing at the end of the day this promotion step could also be automated to further increase efficiency and of course lean process in most cases this uh, this end of day uh, testing is an overnight exercise meaning that when our developer returns to work the next day for her next day's activities she will know if her changes were successfully tested with the other team members changes and this cycle repeats every day until the project's changes are deployed for final testing on the mainframe and so our second demonstration views the world from the perspective of the application test developer and Banu will take you through smoke testing and end of day regression testing and I won't steal any of uh, Banu's thunder by describing his demo any further so over to you Banu thanks again peter continuing where we have left in our story alice logs into accurate the software configuration management solution and promotes the code to the smoke test region a ci cd pipeline in aws has been configured to run all the steps necessary to check out the latest code and configuration build and test the changes that were promoted in accurep now the changes promoted by alice initiates the pipeline to build the code and run automated smoke test suites in line with modern development modern test methodologies like behavior driven development and robot automation framework are used in the solution backed by powerful aws cloud infrastructure these test suites run in parallel reducing the execution times bob our test developer verifies that results of both these test suites were successful alice then proceeds to promote the code to regression test region once again the configured ci cd pipeline for this environment is triggered in this pipeline changes promoted by alice are tested on enterprise test server using uft and vera stream suites this pipeline provides an opportunity to validate the changes against larger test data set all running in parallel in this demo three different sets of test data are used however this can be expanded to many more different sets of test data encompassing various combinations thus preventing any potential leakage of defects as we all agree more the testing better are the chances to uncover any potential defects bob can notice that one of the test suites failed he can download the uft reports and look into the failures in this example the failure is because of existence of account description fields that are larger than eight characters this provides an opportunity for bob to catch any potential issues before the code moves to production to complete the story alice and bob 
report back about the failures and business can decide to make the account description field 10 characters instead. Once Alice completes these changes and Bob verifies the results, the changes can be pushed to mainframe test regions and finally to production. Thank you, Banu. Uh, if you take nothing else from today's session, I hope you'll remember the power and capacity available under the hood to the mainframe developer and tester. I think it's, uh, and I hope you agree, it's an absolute game changer for application development.